Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to Loop Learnings. This is the next video in the series. We are making clinic management system. If you are interested, then stay and watch. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. In any case, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure that you do hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload a new video. And as I said, we are going to uh, make the connection between SQL Server to a microsoft access that's what we are going to do in this video okay so we have a database created called cms all right short form of clinic management system we have a couple of tables as of now now i want to connect this database to my front end which is the microsoft access okay now how do we do that well let's uh, see right away so I'll go to external data tab and I'll go to new data source, second option from database and then from SQL server. We're going to choose the second option, which is a link to the data source. Let me zoom in a little bit. All right. So you can see perhaps a little better. Yep. Okay. Now I'm going to choose the second option because we do not want to just import. We want to link the database. I click OK and we have got another um, pop up window. In this, we'll go to uh, the machine data source and in here we will click on new and we will get some sort of warning, but we'll click OK and we'll get another pop up and there will be a lot of pop ups, all right, uh, throughout the way. So we'll click on next. And now we are going to get options in which uh, it will ask, uh, hey, which driver would you like to choose for me this should this works all the time um, for you you may have different version of driver depending on what version of access or what version of sql server uh, or what is the configuration of your system so please check it out what is the odbc driver installed uh, on your computer for making connection specifically with the sql server for me this this works all the time all right so i'll click on next and i'll click on finish we're not done yet we are going to get more detail pop up boxes in which we have to provide some information it is asking what is the name of the database we'll choose to have the same as the database name and now it is asking what as which sql server do we want to connect this access front end to and uh, for me i will go back to the sql server and i will choose the right click on this database and i'll click on properties and we'll get some information but i'll click on view connection properties and we'll get another pop-up and we'll copy server name so what whatever is written on this server name we'll just copy that and we'll go back to microsoft access and we'll paste it right here and then click on next and now it is asking the authentication what authentication method we would like to use there are many but i'm going to choose the default one which is integrated windows authentication however you can choose to have sql server authentication remember whenever you log on to sql server you have to provide the authentic authentication information so um um it, it's up to you what you will choose but i'll stick with that we'll click on next and now change the default database to the database that we have uh, that we intend to link with and that's the cms and rest everything else i'll keep the same i'll click on next and the language also i'll keep the same now i'll click on finish and now it is asking hey i'm done with setting up uh, but uh, i want you to check it out whether this connection works or not so i'll click on test data source and you can see that my test results came uh, tests completed successfully which means it is working fine so i'll click ok and i'll click ok and we can see that the cms uh, has been created now you can get to the same window see when we click on ok we get the pop up with the tables so i'll select the tables i'll i'll show you what i was about to say actually i will tell you about that, about that but we'll select all the table and 
please don't bother about all these options you, you just choose the option that starts with naming convention starts with dbo dot that's the that's the one you're going to select and you're going to click ok now if in case you forgot to give a primary key to any of the table you can actually um, uh, it will it will ask you and you can assign the primary key from here as well but this is how you connect the sql server to the microsoft access front end and uh, this is how you know you can take it from here and you can start building your user interface based on this database um, i hope that you have learned something i hope this video was useful even you know if you're a beginner especially uh, thank you very much for watching if you like whatever you're seeing smash the like button and um, subscribe to the channel so you you know you get a notification whenever i upload a new video thank you very much i'll see you in the next one